Hey guys, just wanted to make a video on how to set up an OCO bracket in Motive Wave. So, uh, first thing I want to do is go to um, your DOM or open up a DOM here. Um, so now we have our DOM here, and this will normally be checked off. So this is your bracket here. So to enable it, you're going to click here. This will enable the bracket. By default, it's going to have a bracket one, bracket two. Uh, bracket three, I believe. And so whatever one you have selected is what is going to be on the chart. So you can see I actually have a like a two point stop, 10 point target here. Um, you can see that showing um, here in the orders. So, and then I have a scalp. So to create your own bracket, you're gonna go up here to DOM preferences and go to exit strategy. So you can see I already have these three. I'm gonna add one so we can see what it looks like. And let's just do, I'm just gonna call this five point stop loss, five point target. And to do this by default right now, what we're seeing is we have the quantity is set to 33%. So this would actually create a, let's say if you entered three, it would enter those three orders and have um, the same stop for each, 10 ticks and then a 10 tick target, 20 tick target, and 30 tick target. So we're just gonna do a simple OCO. So I'm gonna X out of both of these and we're gonna change the quantity to 100% since we just want um, just plain bracket. And so for the stop offset, we're gonna want it to be 20 since that will give us five points. And the same thing for the target offset. We're gonna put 20. And that's pretty much it. You can change the stop to trail, stop limit, uh, MIT, but stop is gonna be the most reliable. Um, and then just, I'm just gonna leave that at limit. And that's pretty much it. Just click okay. Now we have that added. And so now when we go here, we can go to the drop down. And now if I enter a position, say a sell market, then it's going to pop up with this bracket. And obviously it's SIM, so it's not really it's not filling yet, but once it fills, it's just gonna have these as the um, targets and the stop loss. And another cool thing that you can actually do is, let's say you have this off and you enter a position. Um, what you can do is once the position is entered, so now we have a position entered, let's say we still want that bracket on there. So we can turn this on and click this, um, paperclip and that will actually put those brackets onto that entry so we can enter and then after the fact turn this on and link the um, bracket there which is kind of cool so that's pretty much it for the video